Oh, yeah. Let me go with Bell here. Sure, let me go. So we have Paul Rudd, we have Ken Marino, and we have Bill. Oh, Hader. yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting choices. A little motley crew of, uh, of funny guys. Funny guys. I like it. I like it. It's like I feel strangely feel like a matchmaker or something. <laughs> like, oh, from Mary Kate Wells, I select. I present you. <laughs> I present you these options. <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna kill Ken Marino. Whoa, Sorry. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. He always Yikes. plays such doofy That's guys. So, yeah. Just, I mean, lovable, yeah. but just kind of doofs. That said, right. I do really enjoy Party Down and yeah. He's great in it. I mean, he's great in everything. Does he ever play, like, not a douche? I don't know. He not that I... No, you know, he's pretty... Isn't he pretty sweet in uh, Marry Me? I only watched the first episode of that, but I yes, he's he more of, like, the kind of the put-upon yeah. straight man to Casey Wilson. Yes, that's probably true. Sorry, Ken. You're great, but not so great Ken. enough. Also, my dad's name is Ken, so oh, I can be yeah, never do cool. that. Yeah. Level of weirdness. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Um, so we got Paul Rudd and, and Bill Hader. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to marry Paul Rudd. Whoa, okay, that He's sounds pretty definitive. <laughs> Sorry, Paul Rudd's current wife. <laughs> you are out of there. <laughs> no, he's just I'm like... I'm marrying him. I don't know, he's just got such like a funny but like nice guy like yeah. thing about him that I think he, he... He seems like a good dude, not that mm -hmm. Bill Hader doesn't. I, I know less about Bill Hader. Um, I kind of trip out about the fact, like, Paul Rudd's actually been in this business for so long. Like, remember him from Clueless? Yes! Boz Lerman's Romeo and Juliet. And oh, like, is he oh in my that? God. He plays Paris. <laughs> what? Yes! No. I yes. totally forgot about that. And so it's kind of, and just to see him, like, in so many things now. Like, I know. I'm curious Wait. about Ant-Man. I am, like, too. I don't know if I'm completely sold yet, but I, I, I'm very curious about how that's going to I mean, I think we're all sad out. about Edgar Wright being right. not a part who's of the it. director? Oh, yeah, who's the director now? Peyton Reed. <laughs> how do you feel about it, man behind the camera? Hmm? You're, you're going to see it. Of course I'm going to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'll see it. We'll see... But again, I really enjoy superhero movies, and I really enjoy Paul Rudd. So win-win. Yeah. You... Okay, so then that leaves Bill mm. Hader for yeah. Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky, Bill Hader. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Um, I mean, not that he's not an attractive fellow, but that's just kind of where he ended up. Yeah. Sorry, but, Bill. Uh, sorry, sorry, Bill. I mean, he, we'll he have a good get, time, and then he got a pretty good anyway. deal. He still gets to engage in Hanky Panky. <laughs> I'm sure, I think he's I'm sure fine. he's very glad about that. He's fine. <laughs> I thought he was really good in the Skeleton Twins. I thought so too. Yeah, he's I think quite enjoyed. Incredible in that. With really Kristen Wiig. Yeah. Kristen Wiig was in like all the movies. She sure is. But hey, I'm. Yeah. She's great. I'm so happy for her. I also her. saw her. I just saw that uh, film. Welcome, Welcome to, to me. How was that? that? Mm -mm. I enjoyed it. I know. I thought I saw something about like. It's like, oh, when movies portray mental illness and mm. how problematic that can be, but... Um, Interesting. I still enjoy the film. Yeah, I wanted to see it. I really am so amazed by how she's managed to, like, take her career in yeah. this, like, totally different direction than, like, you know, SNL funny lady. I wanted to ask you yes. about your artists at play yeah. stuff. So you are part of a theater... Like yes, we company. call ourselves a theater producing collective, technically, because we're not um, we're not a company of actors. Mm -hmm. We are strictly a, a group of producers. Mm -hmm. So um, it just so happens that I am an actor, mm -hmm. and one of our founding members, Peter Quo, is a director. Mm -hmm. But um, the rest of my producing partners come from theater admin, which is actually fantastic for us as a group. So we're not necessarily like a you know, like a ragtag group of artists, and there are right. plenty of companies that that come about uh, in that way. Mm -hmm. But I think what serves us really well is is to have um, collectively like a really strong theater administration background. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's it's tough because with the art, there's still a, a plenty of the business stuff you need to handle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how long have you guys been? This is going? our fifth year. Wow. I know. It's kind of like, That's awesome. wow. A bit, we only, 
we only produce one main stage show a year mm -hmm. because it's still like a four or five person operation. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been slowly like expanding our programming over the years. So now we off like now we have like a spring reading series. That's awesome. We'll have like a summer uh, special summer event. Mm -hmm. But then um, now is the time where we're really into the kind of pre production mode to prep for our fall main stage show. Do you, and you guys probably haven't announced what that is yet. We have. Oh, what is it? Yeah, it's going to be the West Coast premiere of a play called In Love and Warcraft. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's super fun. That's it's awesome. by It's by this young playwright named Madhuri Shekhar. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be directed by Alejandra Cisneros. And they're both like these awesome, talented, young women of color. So That's we're super stoked so about great. it. So In Love and Warcraft will be going up this fall in September, October. That's is when awesome. the run will be. Yeah. Yay, that's very cool. Super cool. How do you feel like being a part of something like that has like enriched your career or like you know, Oh man. Um, to your it's just it's not something I planned out for mm -hmm. myself, you know, like I I wanted to be an actor mm -hmm. and for the longest time that's all I wanted to focus on mm -hmm. and this the, the producing really just came by, um, it, it actually stemmed from a show I directed because I thought I could be a director. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I was like seeing all these other shows, it's like, ah, why would you, why would you do that? Or like, you shouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. So I was like, I can do this, I can direct. Uh -huh. And then by the end of that experience, I was like, you know what, I don't think I'm much of a director. <laughs> but you know, I was like, at least I was self-aware to self-aware enough to recognize that, sorry. Yeah. Um, and then I realized, oh, I think what I think what I'm good at is like maybe producing because wow. I had to um, I helped produce that show out of necessity because mm -hmm. no one was gonna produce a show like helmed by a total newbie <laughs> director, and it was a difficult process. But through all that, I was like, I think there's something here like I'm really drawn to. And then the like. How artists that play it even came about was I happened to see a play in the Bay Area, and then I was like, "This play is awesome. Mm -hmm. I want to bring it to LA," so, which I guess is like the first spark of like my producing um, career. Like, you know, this idea of like discovering mm -hmm. a work and wanting to share it with my community. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that That's was awesome. kind of the start of artists that play. What was that? Play. It was it was a play called Ching Chong China Man oh, by yeah. Lauren Yee. So artists that play focuses on works by Asian American artists. Mm -hmm. So it was this I I just love that they this play kind of took all these stereotypes and turned them on its head mm -hmm. and it was such a nice like refreshing break from the more traditional like Asian American or even I think other like minority theater mm -hmm. where you have the tales of you have the historic, like historical plays and um, tales of immigration and the old world and all that, which are all like essential to the canon of our respective um, theater histories. Mm -hmm. But to kind of go beyond that and be like, well, yeah, we're of color, but we're also like Americans, mm -hmm. and we have our own stories to tell, and we have our own perspective and spin on things. Um, so yeah, That's so awesome. I. I approached Peter about directing it, realizing like, oh, I don't like this would be the LA premiere if we wanna if we wanna put it up. Mm -hmm. And then we rounded out our team with Stephanie Lau and then Marie Ren Velez and Yeah. That's, that's incredible how the group was born. That's really I, awesome. I just I, I love that it it gives me like something to do. Yeah. <laughs> but great. it's something I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I think Having that focus and um, this inspiration, it allows me to not wallow in the negatives of actor life mm -hmm. because actor life can be hard. I think um, it's so important to have something to do that you really care about that's oh, also totally. like, creative. And I don't feel like it's like the more older actors I meet and work mm -hmm. with, they all have something like yeah. that. Yeah. But, like, they never really told us that in school, really. <laughs> I mean, they always said, like, find things that you like and do them. But yeah. I just didn't really realize what that meant, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it really is 
just so important, I think. Oh, totally. To have that outlet or you will get really sad yeah. about your life. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not in control of when you get to create your art, which is really hard. Yeah. As an actor. Um, I have a lot of respect for you as a producer. Cause oh, thank you. That ain't easy. <laughs> it sure is not. And I know you got a little taste of it. Very little taste. <laughs> and, I mean, I can't imagine producing, like, live, you know. It's, I mean, it's challenging for sure, especially, like, the state of, uh, like, L.A. theater specifically. But any mm -hmm. theater at large, it's just, it's just hard. I mean, really, like, it comes down to, like, funding and resources. Mm -hmm. And we do what we can. And all while, like, maintaining, you know, certain standards and a level of professionalism. I have to say, like, also producing really has shaped how I, like, conduct myself mm -hmm. as an actor. I would agree with that. Yeah. Like, I, I hate to say it, but you just see... You, there are just a lot of bad habits. Yeah. Um, and just... Just dumb things. <laughs> like, we're... I, like, there's certain, like, dumb actor stereotypes and tropes in here. I'm like, I totally get it. But then also because I was that dumb actor. Right. And I still can be that dumb actor sure. based I, on the circumstances. After I did Spore, which is the short that I produced, mm -hmm. I just was like, man, I feel like every actor should have to do this, yeah. even though it's kind of a nightmare. And, yeah. like, I definitely hated it at times. Like, it just made me realize things that you just can't realize. You just can't no. until you, you actually do it yourself. You take so much for granted as an actor. You're like, yeah. I just show up, and I bring truth yeah. to this role, and, yeah. and people are going to come see me. Yeah, and, and then... And then you realize, like, oh, no, even things like postcards, yeah. you just totally take it for, like, I remember being an actor and thinking, you just don't even realize, like, there is a lot of thought mm -hmm. and money that goes into even something simple as postcards. Mm -hmm. Like, you, they don't just magically appear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so true. <laughs> and no matter, like, how kind you are and, like, respectful, which many actors that we know and never worked yes. with are, you just can't, you just don't know what it's actually no. like until you're doing it yourself. Yeah. And I have a lot more respect for all the people that I have worked with who have done that sort of thing, because it really is, it's just hard. It's hard yeah. work. I think it's really valuable for me as an actor to be like, to not take anything for granted. Yeah. But then also, I think sometimes I get spoiled, because with artists at play and my fellow like producers, we have gotten to a point where we work very well together, and we know how to like get stuff done, mm -hmm. and so I also take those expectations and standards elsewhere, which can be good, mm -hmm. but then also maybe not mm -hmm. as copacetic with right. a different kind of situation I may find myself in. But it's cool that you found people that you really work well with. I think that can be difficult, yeah. and that's awesome. I think what really serves us well is that we all met in a professional context, mm -hmm. And, like, friendships have grown from that. So mm -hmm. um, I think that just really helped set up a strong foundation for mm -hmm. us, you know. So just right off the bat, we just had to just treat each other with professionalism and respect and also not worry so much about hurting each other's personal feelings so much. Just, mm -hmm. like, we have a goal. We need to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. And we just need to work and make it happen. And then... But, I mean, fortunately... From that, like, these are some of my dearest friends now and just such important people in my life. That's awesome. Um, it's like after every production, Stephanie will be like, yay, we did it, and we're still friends. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah, finding people that you can be friends with and work with yeah. can sometimes be difficult, and it's really nice and refreshing to find those people. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm sure you know, too. It's just hard. You just don't know what it's like to work with someone mm -hmm. until you work with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really true, and it can be hit or miss. But you just, you just don't, you just won't know yeah. until it actually happens, and then you find out. Yeah. And hopefully, it's for you know, it's it's good, mm -hmm. but then it, not always. That is true. <laughs> not always. <laughs> not always. Julia, where yes. can people find you on the internet? On the internet, if, um, if you want them to. Yeah, no, I'm there uh, yeah. at that Julia Cho. That Julia Cho. On the fa uh, in no wait, I'm getting all my social media <laughs> platforms mixed up. Uh, um, the Facebook on a uh, Twitter. Yes. And I think my Facebook page is Julia Cho dot actor. Oh okay. Yeah. Feel free to follow Artists at Play on Facebook, AA Play on Twitter, and yeah, super excited to be helping produce produce that show. Yes.
That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm excited too. Yeah, I hope you can. I think it'll be up your alley. I yeah? think you might quite enjoy this story. Well, I gotta come check it yeah. out then. I've loved everything I've seen Thank from you. you guys. I went and saw the one that Daniel was in. Yes, Cowboy vs. Samurai. Yeah, and then Super I saw a musical one, yeah? Like oh, that wasn't, that's funny, that wasn't technically artist at play, but oh. yes, I was in a musical. Okay. Forget it had a lot of the same players. Got it. I got, I got that confused. That was like you very early one. on. I know. We were still Lizzie. working on Lizzie, but I think Yeah, it, it's like at the beginning. Yeah. Almost, sort of. That was really sweet. You and Laura came to see that. It was fun. Like, thanks, guys. It's nice, good to support people. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, Julia. You, yes? You said you were bad at, at this, but yes. I think you were wrong. Um, I think I'm good at, like, tedious work. <laughs> I kind of love it. I'm like, so impressed by your cutting. Thank you. It looks so good. Um, I think there were uh, some hopes that I would be the doctor in the family. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Perhaps a renowned surgeon. <laughs> yes. Because I, you know, clearly I'm, I'm good with my hands. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, and, and such delicate instruments my but. mother definitely was hoping i might choose a a path more along those lines i you strike me as someone though who was like singing and dancing like since yeah i don't know i was i don't know okay. why she ever thought that, that i would <laughs> do anything but that also i'm so grossed out so i could never be a doctor See, i was like super quiet and shy as oh, a kid yeah? and kind of kept to myself and they're like she'd make a good doctor and <laughs> and we're not just saying that because we're you know immigrant parents who <laughs> want a better life for their child like <laughs> we really think her personality might be well suited what um what was it that made you realize you liked performing and wanted to do that then? um i mean i always loved the arts but and i wasn't necessarily a performer mm -hmm. or that uh kind of personality mm -hmm. um but I think acting helped me break out of that mm -hmm. and express myself in a way that I guess I, I wasn't comfortable with just in, in, real, in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you, like, doing plays in school or...? I mean, very, like, very few opportunities, like... You know, I was in the Christmas pageant. Where did the, you grow up? I grew up in L.A. Oh, okay. Yeah. I totally forgot that. Yeah, like, um, Duh. like what, sixth grade Christmas pageant, where everyone, like, the whole class got to, like, sing and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. perform, but it wasn't until, like, high school mm -hmm. where I was like, oh, I can, I can, like, be on stage and, and perform and, like, oh, you want me to audition for, mm -hmm. for a play? Like, that's cool. That's fun. That was me, too, I think. Sort of when I realized that was a thing I could do for yeah. reals yeah. and pursue. And here we are, still here doing we it. Are. Many years later. <laughs> oh man, I'm so close. I really think uh, this is not my craft. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the best craft for me. But it yeah. might be for uh, some of you out there. Yes, that's not to dissuade you from trying <laughs> it. Because yours is just grand. Let, let us see. Mine is not let so much. See. Also, I've gotten pretty lazy as I've neared the it end. It is hard. I feel like maybe you need to like step away from it yeah, and yeah, come yeah. back to it a little yeah. later in the day. Yeah. They can't all be yeah. winners. No. That was but better. at least we tried. We tried. But I don't know. I think you may have found your new calling. I think maybe <laughs> you need to open up an Etsy shop. Okay. <laughs> but only like use other people's Pinterest tutorials. <laughs> I can't come up with this stuff, guys. No. I really am impressed by people who do come up with. Uh, I know, right? Yeah, I just I'm creative, but not in that way. I feel like that's why I'm an actor. It's like, no, just tell me what to do. That's me too. Yeah. Yep. Where do I go? Just what do I say? Tell me what to do, but don't tell me too much because I need <laughs> to have some creative freedom. <laughs> Are you done? Was that oh, the last no, one? Oh. I do love these little canvas, like this canvas confetti that's canvas confetti. That I've compiled. Yeah, so that's the added bonus. If you want to send anybody confetti, mm -hmm. just do this craft and then you'll have some. Okay, can you guys see? Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. All right, all right. What do you think? Julia! <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. You you win. Yours is better. Not that it's a competition. No, it's it's, not it wasn't ever a competition. No. But wow, we well done. Not bad. It's really cute. Oh, it's really delicate. Okay, I have to be careful. <laughs> well, here's mine that is. I love it. <laughs> it's a lot sadder. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> I thought it would be easier to keep, you know, if I did straight lines to make it all work. It's fine. It it's totally works. Just a little more, you know, modern arty. Yeah. <laughs> like like modern like Keith Herring where like yeah. even his straight lines are kinda like Yeah, exactly. Wobbly. That's what we're gonna go with. Don't really sell yourself short. Think. I love it. I think I might spray paint it actually. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm so impressed, Julia. Thank you. That is wonderful. Well, thank you very much for being on my show. Thank you for having me. It was, this a, was a lot of fun. Chatting and crafting with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget. Mm, be sure and check out Julia and all of her stuff and artists at play. And yeah, have a have a good day. <laughs> my brain. <laughs> It's the numbness remark because we can't feel our hands anymore. <laughs> Tune in until next. <laughs> Tune in until next time. Until next time. <laughs> this has been Craft Versation. Big thanks to Ed Powell for sponsoring this video. If you want to sponsor a video, go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash